Baby Monster successfully occupies the 87th position in the Spotify Top Songs Global for today with over 2 million streams. This marks Baby Monster's highest peak in terms of stream count. For the Spotify Weekly Global, Baby Monster managed to secure the 57th position with a total of over 13 million streams. In the weekly fandom chart by K-Pop Radar, Baby Monster successfully clinched the first position with their title track Sheesh. This is the second week in a row for Baby Monster to hold this position. As of now, the voting process for Mnet Countdown is still ongoing and Baby Monster remains at the top. Will Baby Monster secure their first victory next week? Jenny successfully collaborated with Gentle Monster for its annual campaign. This time, Jenny's collaboration with Gentle Monster adopts the concept of Gentle Saloon, complete with Jenny's favorite animal, the capybara. Today, Jenny was also seen unboxing a special package from Gentle Monster. This collaboration product will be released next May. After successfully being one of the artists with the most mentions at last week's Coachella, Lisa has now become the most mentioned artist at Coachella's second week, even though only as a spectator, not a performer. Lisa's presence at Coachella successfully drew fans' attention, and she has been a trending topic on Twitter since last week. Speaking of Coachella, Atiz successfully concluded their final performance at Coachella in a lively and stunning manner. With outstanding live vocal quality and a strong Korean presence, AEs received praise for their vocal abilities. Not only that, but Atiyaz's performance showed significant improvement compared to last week. As the first K-pop boy group to perform at Coachella, ATs showcased their pride with their highly commendable performance. Black Swan successfully sold tickets for their first fan meeting in Japan. Black Swan, the global K-pop girl group with all non-Korean members, successfully sold tickets for their first fan meeting in Japan during the pre-sale period. Now, the promoter and agency will soon add more tickets for sale starting today. Congratulations to Black Swan for their first fan meeting. Fans continue to question the clarity of Sung Han's situation. One of the members of Riesu is still on hiatus. Since SM announced that Sung Han is on hiatus due to a scandal, fans have been continuously protesting for SM to provide clarity on Sun Han's situation. Recently, during Riaz's activities for Music Bank in Antwerp, fans' protests stating Riaz is 7 went viral. Fans continue to demand that SM provide clarity on Sun Han's situation. Secret Number will soon embark on their first tour in the US. The destination cities have been determined through voting, and ticket prices have also been announced. The venues for Secret Number's tour have been announced, with two cities yet to be announced due to contractual constraints. Secret Numbers Tour will kick off in Chicago at the Distro Music Hall and will end in Los Angeles at the Roxy Theater. The venues used by Secret Number have a capacity ranging from 600 to 15 attendees. Although it may seem small, this is Secret Numbers' first step in reaching out to fans worldwide and attracting new fans. Triple IZ successfully secured the fifth position in the top five kit albums in its debut week. Alongside renowned artists like Baby Monster, Triple IZ successfully ranked fifth. Not only that, but Triple IZ's debut single successfully garnered over 100,000 streams on Spotify on April 19th. Triple IZ achieved this feat in less than two weeks since their debut. Triple IZ is also reportedly Triple making IZ a comeback. Triple IZ released soon. a short video that left fans wondering will Triple IZ make a comeback? In the video, Members along with the producer discussed Triple IZ Season 2. Although the producer mentioned cost constraints, fans are quite confident that Triple IZ will soon make a comeback. Considering Triple IZ comes from one of the largest companies in Korea, SK Telecom, fans' hopes for Triple IZ's comeback are increasing. XN will soon attend its first music festival since its debut. Located in Moscow, Russia, XN will attend the Asian Dragon Festival as one of its lineups. This music festival will take place at the Atmosphere Club Moscow, a music venue with a capacity of approximately 5,000 attendees. Speaking of XN, Circle Chart has updated on the sales of XN's second mini album, The Real. This album successfully sold over 3,000 copies, 
twice as much as its first mini album. Congratulations to XIN! Pop idol groups from Indonesia will increase once again. This time, a group named TD will debut on April 25th. In this group, it is rumored that one of Indonesia's influencers, Irene Sawandi, will be one of its debut lineups. Even the introduction video has been widely circulated, attracting the attention of K-pop fans in Indonesia. However, there are still many suspicions surrounding this group, ranging from the continuous change of social media usernames to the location of social media accounts, which are based in Indonesia. What do you think?